Hi, this is Jay from Analytics Bay. Now that we have Jupyter installed, let's learn how to use it. To get started, let's first create a folder and name it as Tutorial. Here we have created our folder called Tutorial. Now let's open Terminal. Let's locate to this folder. And now run a command called Jupyter Notebook. Click enter. This will start up Jupyter and our default browser should start with the following URL localhost colon colon double eight double eight three. And browser windows opens up to show the notebook dashboard. And our browser should now look something like this. If you are not familiar with this local host, it means the content is being served from our local machine, that is our computer. And 8888 is the port the server is communicating on. If we start another server, it will try to use the port 8888. But since it is occupied, the new server will run on the port 8889. Then we would be connected it to the localhost localhost colon 8889. And every additional notebook server will increment the port number like this. Since we newly created our folder and there is no files of the folder inside that, that's why there is no files of the folders listed over here. Actually, it depends on where we started the server from. Now let's have a look at this Jupyter Notebook dashboard. The dashboard of Jupyter Notebook contains three tabs, files, running and clusters. Files tab shows all the files in the folders in the current directory. We can also upload a file to the notebook server using this upload button. Running tab shows which notebooks and the terminals are currently running. Here we can see that there are no terminals running and there are no notebooks running. Next is clusters. Cluster tabs is provided by IPython Parallel. Clusters are to create multiple kernels for use in parallel computing. IPython's parallel computing framework is an extended version of IPython kernel. Remember that right now we are not actually running a notebook but instead we are just running the notebook server okay now how to shut down this server come to the terminal and press ctrl c here you can press y or you can press ctrl c second time so now we know how to start a server and how to stop it now let's create a notebook in the next video thank you so much for watching this video Please like, share and comment. Also, do not forget to subscribe.